Welcome back. Glad that you're here. Flutter app development has been very easy to learn for beginners and supporting apps for multiple platforms has become easier. Flutter has been very common among college students as it is new and promising. Flutter also quickly helps with prototyping an app. Writing test cases is not a regular practice that many of you consider while creating a prototype. But writing unit test cases is very important. So let's consider an example of movie app where we have completed all the features and now very much ready for putting it in production. But we have not written any test cases for the app, which means that if I say for after releasing this app to production and making the code open source on GitHub will allow any developer to raise an MR to the repo. It will also allow me to change the code after so many years. So if you decide to modify an app after years after the launch, you might mess that up and some features may not behave as expected. It doesn't matter how much confident are you of your changes, you might have missed one small thing. To avoid those hiccups, make unit test cases your friend which will warn you before making any mistake. Coming to the project, first open pubspec.yml file, add mockito dependency block test dependency and the test dependency. After adding these, in this video, we are going to test only the block. So here uh, is our block presentation, blocks folder. And let's say, uh, let's do today, uh, I, will, I will actually demonstrate you about movie tabbed qubit. Block and qubit are same. So Writing test cases for block is same as writing test cases for qubit. So here is our movie tabbed qubit, which takes three use cases. And whenever there is a movie tab changed event, we first emit the movie tab loading state. Then we process based on what type of movies we want to bring from the API. And then we emit either movie tab load error state or movie tab changed state. So this is the whole functioning of this block. Now. In the same folder structure, you have lib, presentation, blocks, movie tabbed. The similar way in the test folder, you will create lib, presentation, blocks, and then in the blocks, you will have movie tabbed folder, where you will create a new file, movie tabbed qubit test. Now, first of all, we will try to mock everything. What are the mocks that we have to create? So coming to the movie tabbed qubit file, we will have three mocks that we will create in the movie tabbed qubit test file. So let's first start with that. Create a mock for the use case, which will extend mock and it will implement the get popular qubit. Uh, sorry, um, not get popular qubit mock, it's just get popular mock. So we have this get popular uh, use case already defined. So this is our first mock. Similarly, we will have two more mocks that this block depends upon. Get playing now. And then we will have get coming soon. In all these mock classes, you will actually write a mock after the class name, which will, which will tell us that these classes are mock classes. Okay. After implementing all these, we will start with the main function. This main function uh, will help us in running all the test cases, which are in this test file. So first we will declare. Uh, these uh, mock classes, we will declare variables for them. Okay, after declaring the variables for the mock, you will now declare the instance of movie tabbed qubit because we want to actually run all the methods that are defined in this qubit. So to call, the, call those methods, we will also need instance of this block. This time you will not use a mock, but you will use direct the instance of it. Setup method takes in the method to actually run and execute uh, before running all the test cases. So this setup method will be executed before running the test case, which we will write in a moment. Now in this setup method, we will initialize these mock and that's very easy. You just write this and write the get popular mock and that's it. You have to actually write this. Yep. Similarly, you will write for all these. Uh, 
Okay. Now you will also initialize this block movie tabbed qubit, which we actually want to run the test cases on. And it actually requires uh, these three instances, which we already saw. Now, in the teardown method, which will actually uh, be used when this test file has run all the test cases, we should actually close all these blocks in order to free up the memory. And if there are multiple test files in the test folder, we will not be having any instance remaining when we are running one test and then we are running the other test. Clearly, currently we have only this block. So now after this, so our first test will be written like this, where uh, it will also uh, take a method to execute and this will be our description. So we will write that block should have initial state as and our test case, our test case will actually check whether the initial state is this or not. Now the usage of this will be if in future somebody changing your initial state to something else, this test case will fail and it will be warned before you commit the file. So here we clearly expect that our movie tab block uh, qubit state of that qubit is uh, sorry, the, the, run, uh, the type of the state of that uh, qubit is this one. And this test case now, if we try to run by writing FVM flutter test, FVM I have used for flutter version management, but you can directly start from flutter test. So this is the URL, uh, this is the path of the file uh, movie detail uh, qubit test, but we don't want to test that. We will change the URL to movie tabbed qubit test dot dot. Remember to only run the test case on the test file, otherwise it won't run. Now we are running this in background and we can see that all tests have passed and block should have initial state as movie tabbed initial is passed. Now let's create more functional test cases in the block, especially for block. Okay. So to test the block test cases, we have a uh, uh, you can say instance of block test, which is written by the Flutter uh, block library itself. Now here as well, we have multiple methods and the description of the test. So here, the first thing that we want to check is when the movie tab is changed, we first emit the movie tab loading and we consider that the movie is returned as success. Okay. So we change it to movie tab changed. So these are the states that it will emit movie tab loading and movie tab changed. We consider for the success scenario first. So we'll write should emit movie tab loading and movie tab changed state when tab changed success. Okay. This build method actually takes a function where it builds the, uh, it actually provides an instance of the tab to this uh, block test method. Okay. Now what we want to act, what we want to do when uh, this test case run, this is the uh, parameter that we have to provide and act actually takes in the block, which we provided in the build. And this wants to run some items, uh, some statements when we are running the test case. So our first will be, uh, we will be uh, mocking some things. And at the end, we will want to execute that block dot. Sorry, uh, it has to be of some type. So we want to execute. Let me give the type of it so that it recognizes the method name. So block dot, we want to execute movie tab changed method. And what does this tab changed method take in? It takes in current tab index. So let's say, I will say uh, one is the, um, index that is passed. So we will say current tab index is one. Okay. First let's try. Okay. Let's check with the one first. Now, when we are running the current tab index as one, we want that this method should be executed, but we don't want to execute it uh, when uh, we are running the test cases. So that's why we have created mocks instead of running the exact method or making the API call, we will be mocking that API call. So in our test case, we will say that 
when this method is called which means that playing now mock dot call is called with no params and then answer we probably don't need this and we need async because uh, it's a we will treat it as a api call so we need it async and then we will return write object because we want to make sure that it's a success call right so in this we can clearly what uh, what is the response from this side uh, this returns list of movies so we will create an empty object and that's it we have written list of movies here in this we can say that we have written list of movies so whenever when get playing now mock is called with no params then you return write object of empty movies then we will expect we will expect a array of events to be emitted so first event would be movie tab loading so we'll write the first event is of type movie tab loading and second event is of type movie tab changed okay this will ensure that we never mess up the sequence of states that are emitted from this block now when i run this test case on the same file again it should actually run properly so let's see that okay we can see that all test passed now we have not verified that the api call was made successfully which is get playing now it can be the case that somebody changes the order and some, somebody calls get popular instead of get playing now so how do we verify that so in the verify you will write it will again ask for the qubit which we have written so we can say block here or the same thing we can write here okay if to make uh, it more easier uh, let me rename it to qubit because we are now using qubits it doesn't matter actually but for the simplicity i'm writing so in the verify what do you want to verify so you will verify that get playing now mock dot call with uh, you can say any here is called one time okay now if you run the same thing verify is important to verify what happened actually in, apart from states what actually happened so this test case also passed but if would i if i would have written get popular which is certainly a wrong thing to have it will fail right because the current index is 0 and the current index is 1 and we call get popular mock uh, get popular method only when the index is 0 so uh, these are the differences <clears throat> or this is a way that you can cross check that whatever you have written is correct now we can change the description as well when tab tab change to one index or you can say when um, playing now tab changed success right this is our first test case similarly uh, this is our, this is our second test case similarly you can write third test case when the tab is changed to popular okay and you just need to mock get popular now get popular mock and here as well we are going to return only uh, right here this time index will be zero and this time we will verify that get popular is called instead of get playing now again you will repeat the step for the third tab so get coming soon tab is changed here the tab will be two and then here get coming soon okay now we will run and test it we should have four test cases that are passed okay we have four test cases what about the fail scenario so you can simply uh, instead of you can actually write three test cases and uh, make them fail but i will for the simplicity again i will only do it for the uh, coming soon tab it will be all repeated stuff so let us let me take you through that that scenario as well now what we want to test we want to test that if there is an error from one of these calls we want to emit movie tab load error right so for that we will uh, first whenever this mock is called instead of returning right we will return left okay and this time left will have app error and app error of api type so this is the app error here uh, we will 
uh, this line will be same, but we will expect that this time after loading state, movie tab load error is emitted. Okay, so let's run it and we have changed the text and here we will also write movie tab load error. So this is our, this is the way you write uh, basically the test cases. Now I will take you through one of the test cases that I have already created. Now coming to, uh, let me close all and then I will show you uh, what movie detail uh, tabbed block, movie um, detail block does. So simply it takes in uh, five, uh, four blocks as a required parameter and one use case. So similarly, I have written one uh, use case and these all four are the mock of those four blocks that this movie detail block uses. Here, I initialize them directly. Oh, oh sorry, uh, you can actually remove these. That's not required because we are, we should uh, initialize them in the set, setup method. After initializing in the setup method, I also initialize that block with those uh, mocks. After that, I tear down with all those blocks after closing the blocks. Then let's come to the detail again. So when we load movie details, we first time uh, show the loader, then we make the call and then we decide whether it's a movie detail loaded or it's a movie detail error state. And together with this, we also make these four calls on the other block. We check whether the movie is saved or not. We check whether the block, uh, whether, uh, we check to load the uh, cast and we load videos. After that, we hide the loading. So here, uh, as the, as I said, the initial state should be movie detail initial. This test case we have written already. Then um, you will write block test should load movie success. This is your uh, success scenario and this is your fail scenario. Now in this, you are again in the build, you will write this. In the act, you will say that when movie detail mock is called with movie params uh, where the movie index is one, then you answer movie detail entity in the right, which means we are dealing with a success scenario. And then we also want to hit this method so that these all events happen. So block dot load movie detail with a one. We expect that only movie detail loaded state is emitted. As you can see here at the end, only this state is emitted, right? Now we want to also verify that loading qubit mock dot show is called one time loading qubit mock dot hide is called one time load cast load videos check if movie favorite is also called one 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 time okay so this is how you create block test cases this is it from this video next we will see ui testing and data layer testing show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel also share this series with your friends as well thanks for watching and see you in the next video